Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth and I am here today with a quick middle gray made update. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any physical books to show you because the ones I do own were promptly stolen by my children as soon as I finished them. Um, I believe I told you that I completed The Mystery of Locked Rooms by Lindsay Curry and rated it four stars. Elena is currently reading it and has taken it away from me. Uh, but the reason I am mentioning it again to you is because I follow Lindsay Curry on Facebook and she posted um, that her publisher had sent her some um, some of the stickers for authors to sign, right? Book plates for authors to sign for Mr. of the Locked Rooms. And if there were any of us um, in that group that wanted one to just, you know, email her and let her know and she'd mail us one. So I emailed her and was like, hey, um, would love it if we could get that. Uh, my daughter has stolen the book from me twice. I keep having to go search where she's hidden it so I can try to read it. Um, would absolutely love it if you could send that actually to her. Um, and she goes, would you like me to sign it to both of you or just to her? Or do you want two book plates and I was like no no uh, I've only got the one book so if you wouldn't mind actually signing it to her like that'd make her that'd make her weak if you would sign it to her and um and mail that like she'd be over the moon uh so we actually got that in the mail a couple of days ago and Elena wanted to try to check the mail herself of P.O. Box and so she wanted to get out of the car on her little crutches and hop her happy behind in there and check the mail and she got the little letter and it was the first time that she tried to do something like that um, in the last like week and a half that she's been injured so it was really cool it really meant a lot uh, Lindsay Curry is just she's just great all the way around um, I've had a couple of like email interactions Facebook discussions or whatever with her just here and there over various books and she's always been just quite delightful um, in our interactions as well as in what I see um, with others so if you don't currently like buy every Lindsay Curry book you should uh, she's a good author of middle grade books specifically the thrillers though this mystery was fun and uh, she's a, she's a great person all right, next, I believe I told you I was reading Ghost Sitter, A Crazy Inheritance by Tommy Krapweiss. Um, It's hilarious. It's uh, an audible original, so I listened to it. And the other three in the series that are in English on Audible uh, over the last couple of days. So I gave the first book a three star, and that's Crazy Inheritance. And then the second book is Beware the Poltergeist, and I also gave it a three star. The third book is Zombie Party. I gave that a four star. And then the final book uh, that is in English right now that I listened to, I finished listening to it today and gave it a four stars. And that is Horror in the House of Mirrors. When I say that are in English, there are apparently like 17 of these um, periodical uh, books. And the audiobooks are done like a um, kind of podcast, kind of old school radio show in that genre um, with a full cast. And they're hilarious. They're a lot of fun. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of them that are in German. And then these four are in English. And I am hoping that I will get to listen to the rest of them in English as my German is, it's not non-existent, but it's close enough that I could say it's non-existent. Um, I would never be able to keep up with it if I listened to them in German. Uh, Lena and I completed listening to Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. According to Goodreads, I have only read it once this month. Uh, however, I've read it three times this month. I wish they would let me count it three times for the month of May. I don't know why they're not letting me count it. I've read it three times for the month of May. Um, Elena gave it like a four and a half stars. I give it a solid four stars. 
she is going to uh, do a video with me at some point over the next few weeks talking about both Ellis and talking about Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, which we also listened to together last week. Um, and we both rated it about a three star. Um, but those were the two classic children's literature book club book picks for middle grade May. So we listened to them together and we do both agree that they are um, upper middle grade books. In fact, I would argue that both are lower young adult books. And as I said before, I taught Alice in Wonderland to my sophomores and it's not an easy unit like they thought it was going to be. Uh, but we can get into that later. The other book that I completed over the last week, I completed uh, yesterday, and it is What'll I Do Without You by Michelle Schusterman. Uh, this is the story of the little girl and her dog who protect the penguins on Penguin Island as um, global warming has caused the tides to go lower than anyone had seen them before. And uh, so they're trying to figure out how to protect the penguins from foxes who can now walk across a land bridge at low tide and just pick off the fairy penguins. Uh, it takes place in Australia and was just absolutely sweet and adorable. Uh, the main character is 12-year-old Addie Jenkins, and she loves nature and her dad's overprotective because her mom passed away um, when she was little. Um, there's a really bad view of the cover. <clears throat> and so she's also homeschooled. Her dad is a fisherman and Max is her uh, puppy dog. And he's getting a little older. He's the same age she is. They, you know, were babies together. And so he's watched her grow and he's very, very smart. And he tries to train the penguins. Uh, you get three perspectives. So you get the point of view from Addie. Then you also get a point of view from Max. But you also get a point of view from Darwin, who I'm pretty sure is an autistic penguin. It never says like, oh, this penguin is autistic. Uh, because why would you? But he exhibits a lot of the signs of autism that like I exhibit for my Asperger's, you know, you're high functioning, you have great logic and problem solving skills, but you can't, people don't understand you, uh, which by the way is really difficult when you're writing papers, uh, on the graduate level and your brain works like mine does. Some people get like the really cool logical side of all of this neurodivergence. And you can just line it out and then other people think that you're talking to them like they're stupid because you're lining everything out so exquisitely simply that anyone could understand it. And then there's me who's like, well, obviously, because the blues are bluing today and that means that the purples will be bubbles. And in my mind, that makes 100% sense. And it does actually turn out to be true. If you can figure out what I mean with the colors and the bubbles, because my words are not wording. So, um, I really felt a kinship with the penguin who wanted alone time and didn't want to swim the way the other penguins were swimming and didn't think that they needed to have a dog come protect them when they could camouflage themselves to try to look like rocks and grass. Uh, so it was very, very cute, very, very sweet, and I'm definitely going to be looking at reading some of the other books that this author has uh, written about other animals and uh, their habitats. So that is all I've got for you guys today. I don't really know what I'm going to be picking up next. I don't have anything in my currently reading stack at the moment because... Today is my first official day of summer, my first day without the kids, so I've deep cleaned my bathroom and painted it, um, the, this green color there, and uh, done laundry, moved some furniture around, I'm about to do another load of dishes, uh, all that jazz, because the girls have school until Thursday, 
and today is my only day where I'm going to be able to spend all day cleaning and working on stuff. Um, you guys are one of my breaks. So thank you. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow is Elena's next appointment with the ortho. Um, and we'll find out if she still needs crutches, what our next steps are or pops are, uh, all of that jazz. And then Wednesdays, I always pick the girls up and bring them home because dad has Wednesday night church and mom, uh, the chemo has made her start really struggling uh, to be able to take care of the girls for more than an hour or so on her own. Um, so I go pick them up and bring them home and then that's an, an hour's drive, but I'll pick them up right after school and bring them home and they'll actually have some time at home on Wednesday nights. And since I'm out, I get out like an hour and a half after they do. But since we finished school last week, I can actually pick them up from the school, bring them home. And then Thursday is their last day. It's all the, you know, award ceremonies. Make sure you've got your stuff out of your locker half day situation. So we're going to get up Thursday morning, head back over there, go by mom and dad's house, make sure the girls are ready for school and then drop them off. And then I'll be back at the school at 930 for elementary, 1030 for junior high awards. And then whenever that's done, we're out and we're all through for summer. Um, I would love to say I'm going to make them help me clean the house, but one of them is four and one of them is broken. So, um, it's a really nifty way to get out of your chores. Honestly, I ought to put a wrap on my foot and tell the kids, Oh, can't clean. You're going to have to do it. But you know what happens? I've actually broken my ankle and done that before. And you know what happened? The house got trashed and then I had to scoot around on my butt to try to pick things up. So oh, it was a nice thought while it lasted. All right, I am going to go do something productive, possibly, and find an audiobook to listen to while I do it. And next time I come talk to you guys, I'll let you know what that audiobook was. Please let me know if you've read any of these, want to read any of these, want to know more about any of these, or have any awesome suggestions for middle grade me for me to read. I will talk to you again soon. Until next time, stay safe out there, guys.